Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well, we are a few days away from the game versus Lecce in Serie A match day 12, a game that will absolutely not change the result, the loss versus Benfica 4-3, it will not change the destiny of Juventus in Champions League, we are eliminated, it is already written, destiny is doing that times are changing and we have to be aware of it. From the only Italian team that was always able to qualify to the knockout stages, we will probably be the only Italian team that will be eliminated in the group stages after the win 4-0 from Inter, 4-0 from Milan, 3-0 from Napoli, all in Champions League, we are really risking. I don't care about the other ones, we have to focus on ourselves and we have to be honest and admitting, using big words, that we are in trouble. It is a really tough moment, it is a crisis and the only thing that we can do is changing changing because if we continue to do what we did until today until now the results will not change we tried with Ritiro we tried with Mercato we tried with this we tried with that nothing is working at the moment if we can't change the coach because he will stay at least until the World Cup we have to change with what we have what do we have today what was the only positive things of the last few games what gave us a little bit of enthusiasm it's these young players the players that are still labeled with next gen we're speaking about Sule, Miret also Fagioli and also a player like Ealing Jr. that is everywhere on internet. He is viral after his beautiful performance and entry versus Benfica. We have them. We have to change that label of next gen in today's gen, today's generation. And this is what I want to speak in that video about the youngsters. How can we play with much and a lot of youngsters simultaneously already versus Lecce? Because I told you, Lecce will not change the destiny of Juventus in Champions League, but but it can change the destiny of Juventus in Serie A, where we can't give up already today, because we are only October, the season might be over already in Champions League, and it will not be cancelled, it is a shame, a really shame, it is not acceptable that we are out, but we are out, we can't give up also the other objectives, means qualifying for the next one, to try again, next gen has to be today's gen and this is what Lecce is offering us put a maximum of like subscribe to the video and the channel if you want to we open the pages to see what they are saying about our beloved Juventus and we will go to that possible lineup with some youngsters towards the end of the video Corriere dello Sport is saying and repeating the word that are already used crisi crisis Juve a fine stagione at the end of the season piazza pulita we change everything Big words, Corriere dello Sport in October is already thinking and planning the future of Juventus at the end of the season, June or July 2023, it's really far away, it's seven months from now on, with so many games to be played, we already played 16, I imagine how much we still have to, to play, so it's good to speak about the future, maybe changing everything is the solution another time, because Juventus changed so many times in the last season, is it the real solution, maybe, I don't know, but I don't don't care i want to focus on today gazetta dello sport is also speaking about the future speaking about who will arrive and who is risking juve chi rischia e chi arriva they are already speaking about sergey milinkovic savic as the savior from our midfield from next season if he's not arriving they are speaking about alternatives like awar or fratesi from sassuolo it's beautiful it's nice but i want to focus on today and if it's true that we have to be aware of the players that are at risk the players that are in doubt, the players that might leave Juventus at the end of the season, we have to be aware of it, but also the players themselves have to be aware because they have seven months to change, they already received the opportunity to, to change and not all of them, they convinced totally, we are speaking at doubt about Bonucci, Kin, Milik, Paredes, Rabiot, McKenny, Federico Gatti, we have players that are apparently according to Gazzetta dello Sport already in their way out, Di Maria, Quadrado, Alexandro, Rugani, De Ciglio, even if the last one already renewed his contract uh, in the summer well this player they have to be aware that they had the opportunity and they failed at the moment so if they receive new opportunity they will have to convince us but what can we do well is investing on the one that probably didn't receive the chances or enough chances to prove maybe the sparking light was and is Ealing Junior is Sule is Miretti this player they need 
more time. And the first thing that the Juventus has to do this morning is going to Samuel Ealing Jr. that his contract is ending in 2023 and renew him until 2027. Apparently Juventus, they are doing it. I'm not a doubt about it. Why? Because if there is two things that we can be proud about Juventus is our Juventus women, great project that is working, and also our youth academy, our youth sector that is working really well. Not only Samuel Ealing Jr., but the players like Sule that we brought from Argentina, that is growing, that is doing really well. Players like Kenan Yildiz from Bayern Munich from Zero Euro, that is the phenomenon of that under-19. But also players from Malaga, the Dutchman, Huysen, defender, fantastic player, uh, Ga uh, Haza, we have Turco, we have so many great players that will be also part of that next gen that should be one day today's gen well these players i have absolutely no doubt that juventus is managing it but of course you have to be aware that if these players they arrive in first team and they don't receive enough playing time well all the beautiful project will collapse will not work because it is what it is. So Max Allegri, you know it. You are at risk. You are in doubt. You are not controlling the situation at the moment. The results are not arriving. You tried diverse solution. Not, none of them are working. Some partially, but it's not working. So you have five remaining games to show, to change. Because if you don't change, things will not change. So give them the opportunity. Give us that fresh air of enthusiasm and who can play well the three ones that are on the front page of tuto sport Ilin junior miretti sule it's correct that to put them on tuto sport first page allegri change the air change what is happening in la continasa change what is happening on the field if we go through their id cards of the playing time the first one is sule sule that yes he's part of the first team but how many times did he play well six game only and when we are speaking about six game in total he played 69 minutes Four appearances in Serie A for a total of 33. Two appearances in Champions League for a total of 36 minutes. 66 minutes only. Last year you already played 13 games so far this season. It's not enough. But use the talent that we already saw. And yes, he might miss that goal versus Benfica that could have brought us at 4-4. That would have absolutely not changed the destiny of Juve. Yes, maybe. But give him them playing time. Miretti is the one, the lucky one that probably is performing the best of all of them. Well, he received a bit more opportunities. 40 times he played, but also him. 591 minutes after that mistake of the penalty coast versus Benfica, he disappeared a bit. He started quite well, actually, because he received so many playing time in the beginning of the season. If you have to choose between McKenny and Rabiot, Rabiot that did a great season so far, or you have the future in our hand, who is Miretti? Play Miretti. We are not delivering results. You want to play him with Rabiot? Find a solution. I don't care. But Miretti has to be there. He has to be a starter versus Lecce. This is what I'm expecting. So if Miretti is the one that you believe the most in with appearances and minutes played, continue to invest in him. I was thinking, how can we play with the maximum of young players versus Lecce already if we want really that air to change? Well, it's quite easy. In the midfield, instead of playing with a regista basso, it means a regista, the number six that is playing a bit lower. We know it, 4 3, three with a lower regista. Change things, change them really. Play Miretti, a bit more offensive regista. Why not? Not a number 10 trequartista behind two strikers but a bit more offensively because you are sending a sign to your team that we want to go up front we want to go we want to create game instead of playing a Locatelli that is not always performing as Regista Basso he's performing better as a box-to-box -box. unlock Locatelli thanks to that small move you are trusting Miretti you are showing that you trust in that project of youth you change him a few meters up front and you are sending also a sign to the team that we want to go to score more than defending it's a beautiful combo just with one man there Locatelli Miretti and you continue with Rabiot on the left why not guys on front you play with 
Kostic that is in total form today. We play with Sule. Give him a chance versus Lecce from the beginning of the game. And Milik up front because Vlaovic is not there. Be ready the center of that project that can change position. He can go up front playing as a number 10 when Sule is going on the wing. But he can also stay there with a, when Sule is going inside the field. With Kostic that will always do what he's really great to do. It means going on the wing and going with crosses. And when we go with crosses that means that Locatelli he has to go up and fulfill that box. Something that we know that he can do. And maybe this time his shot from the distance will go in target instead of going and bouncing against a defender from Lecce. Maybe yes, maybe no. Defensive says we know who has to go down. We, ho we know who has to stay up. Because if we all go down, we have a problem, guys. It's beautiful structure and organization. Dare. Dare to play this youngster. And you will tell me, Beppe, where is Ealing Jr.? Keep him. He's a player that he is playing on the left side, he can sub in Kostic at a certain moment, but he can also take that right spot. He already played in his career six times on the right side, and then he goes with his left foot entering centrally the goal. He can do it as well, not as good as on the left, but he's a really great weapon. And instead of playing 10 minutes, maybe he can change Kostic or Sule a bit earlier in the game, maybe playing from the 60th minute of the game. Show the trust in these kind of players. And you saw and you noticed that I also play and continue to give trust to a Federico Gatti that needs also him to have his chances to prove that he's a Serie A player. Guys, this was it for me. A long video where we spoke about youth, a video where I was quite excited because I want change like you all want it. And we have to invest in our team from next gen to today's gen. Mission for the five next games. Grand. Guys, put a maximum of likes, subscribe to the channel. Grazie, forza. Juve.